I'm Chef Mark with LearnToCook.com. Today we'll be preparing Sloppy Joes. When making Sloppy Joes, it's very important that the meat be well browned, so you don't want to keep stirring it or stirring it at all. What I like to use are two skillets so that I can cook the veggies in two pans, then add the ground meat so that it browns. So let's start. First, you can use olive oil, or you can use any other vegetable oil you prefer. Corn oil works just as fine. The skillet is hot. I don't want it screaming hot, but hot enough so that I can uh, brown the veggies. A good Sloppy Joe's has crisp meat, and that's, I guess, one of the important tips about uh, making Sloppy Joe's is the meat is nicely browned. Gives it that texture you're looking for. In here I have onions, celery, and red peppers. You can use green peppers. You can use carrots, but it's nice to substitute sometimes some red pepper. So I'm going to add that to, to both. You see how nice and hot the pan is. I'm going to distribute that red and green peppers, celery, onions. So you can see that's tender at this point. Let's distribute half the meat into the pan. We'll let that brown up nicely in my two skillets. Now, if you don't have two skillets, you can easily make it in one skillet. All right, just do two batches, so that would be fine to do that. So we'll let that sit there a few moments. And we're not going to stir it, we're going to let it brown. All right, now you can see that we've given it a nice brown color. All right, and that's important to get that nice and crispy. Don't stir, let it brown. Now we can stir it up. We're going to combine them into one pot. Okay. Put it into one pan. Because now, give that a little, break the meat up a little bit. Does have to be completely pulverized. If there's a few pieces of meat, then it tells people it wasn't canned, right? So you want to have a few pieces of meat in there to show that actually made it fresh. At this point, we're going to add some garlic and jalapeno. Stir that in. And then tomato ketchup. And we'll shoot this your sauce. Well, that's good to use on the steak anyway, right? Ketchup, we'll shoot this your sauce. Sweet and tangy. Also, some red wine vinegar. So give it a little tart flavor that we like in a Sloppy Joe's. Let that absorb, be absorbed into the meat. Mm, it's smelling wonderful. A little brown sugar. And then my seasoning mix, thyme, pinch of cloves, sea salt and black pepper. And then I'm gonna add a little Cajun seasoning in there for a little added spice and tanginess. And then finally we added tomato sauce. Let's, we don't want it too wet. We want it sloppy enough so that when you eat it, it comes out of the hamburger bun. We'll let this cook for about 10-15 uh, minutes, then we'll come back and serve it in a whole wheat bun. So here it is, we took it off the stove. It's reduced about 20% of the time. And if you want to make sloppy Jose's, you can add some hot chili pepper, right? Or chili oil or cayenne pepper. So it cooked, reduced very nicely, a little sweet and sour, which is wonderful. And, that, and then I have a whole wheat bun. Place some of that uh, filling, as much as you want. Hopefully you can pick that up. I think you can if you really want to. Uh, pick it up, enjoy it, and uh, it's beautiful. Enjoy your sloppy Joe's.